Okay, so what we need to do now is add the update query and tell the page how to handle this data when our intention is actually editing instead of adding a new page or inserting a new page. So right now, whenever the form has been submitted, this here, this if statement is being true. So we're going to keep that. However, this time, however, we're going to create an if statement right here above the query. We want to go ahead and keep this right here rather than having to do this twice, this uh, escaping the strings here. Um, we'll keep that. So right here above the query, we're going to do if. And the easiest way to check to see if we're trying to add something or not is to see if there is an ID sent to the URL. So if is set get then ID then now we know that we are loading a page. So this is where we're going to put the the update query rather than the insert query. So if that's where the update query is going then we need to make an else statement and this is where our insert query is going to go. So let's go ahead and grab this insert query cut that out and put that in the else and then for the if we'll go ahead and make a new query so q equals and so like I said this time we're going to do update and updates written a little different so update pages and we're going to tell it to set and then now we're going to set up uh, what gets updated and so rather than giving out the list of column names first followed by a list of the values in order to do an update we do one at a time so we're going to say user equals and it's going to be post user then comma and then we just keep going so slug equals post slug and again that one needs to be wrapped in single quotes and the rest of them then are going to be using the uh, variables we set up up here to do the escaping so the next one's going to be title equals title make sure that's in quotes comma label oops comma label equals label then header equals header and then the last one body equals body now what we're missing here is to tell it which one to update so you get a lot of trouble here if you don't add this next part. Because if we don't specify which one, it's going to go ahead and change every record. And that would be a real big bummer. So we need to do a where clause. So where ID equals, and then we'll throw in the get ID. There you go. So let's save that. Let's hop over to the browser. Let's go ahead and get rid of that extra about us that I created. So click browse in the pages table. And here's the uh, second one. We'll go ahead and delete that. And let's head back to our admin. And we'll just click on new page to reload. Now let's click on the uh, home page. And we'll just go ahead and change something. We'll just change the name to homepage2 and say that. Okay, now I see what happened here. And this was a good catch. We still added another one, and the reason is, is that if you notice, when I hit save, we did not send that ID back up to the uh, URL here. So if you look at our if here, we ended up running the insert query again because this wasn't true. So I actually want to do this a little bit different. I want to come down here instead of using the post 
instead of using the git array, I'm going to use post. So scroll back down here to our form. And we're going to add another input here that's going to be hidden. So we'll come down here, do input, type, hidden, and name equals, and we're going to call this one ID. We'll give it a value. And this value is going to be the value of the open page. So we'll go ahead and copy one of these echo statements here because we just need to change one part of it. So we'll copy that, paste that in the value here. And we'll just change this to ID. Save that. So we come back up here to our query again. And first of all, we need to change this from git. We need to change that to post because now we're checking against that. However, post ID is going to be set no matter what when this is sent. It's going to it's going to exist. It's not going to have any value to it, but it's going to exist. So we can't do this just like this. We actually need to do is not equal to and just an empty string. So now this will only run if there is a value stored down here in the hidden input field called ID. So we'll go ahead and save that. So at the same time, when we did hit save and the uh, page reloaded, because we didn't send that ID through the URL, we went back to the uh, new page or a blank form. And uh, that's not a very good workflow. It would make way more sense to continue to keep that page loaded in our form. So let's go ahead and let's edit our form. So if we come down to the form tag we're going to go ahead and echo out the ID up here too. So in the action where it says index.php, we're going to do dollar sign ID equals, then we'll do the PHP tags echo opened ID. Close that and close your PHP. So now when you update one of these pages, it'll keep the page loaded in the form so you can make more edits if you wanted to. It's just a better workflow. So let's come back over to PHP My Admin really quick. Click on Browse, and we'll delete this uh, second home page. And let's come back over here. We'll reload the page. Let's click on Home Page. Let's change the title to Home Page 2. Click Save. There you go. So not only did we save the change, but we kept the page loaded here in the form because we sent the ID back up here. Now you might ask, why didn't we just do that um, instead of adding that hidden field? And I have a reason for that that we'll talk about a little bit later.